In this video, we will be growing the vibrantly deep orangey yellowish sunflower called teddy bear and follow along for the entire season from seed to flower arrangements to review. Plus, I want to share my thoughts on next year's possible perfect location for this dwarf leafy sunflower and why. Therefore, we will get a tour of my shady front yard garden. Who doesn't love a tour? Let's read what Burpee has to say about these teddy bear sunflowers. And we can see that they are an annual. We can see how much I paid, minus 40%. Got these at Menards. Here's our teeny tiny little seeds, but they did give me a pretty good amount for these. And remember, these are the ones that we can put into containers. So, Golden yellow, fully doubled, six inch blooms. Great for mid border containers and bouquets. So an average soil in full sun after danger of frost. Sow seeds about eight inches apart and cover with one inch of fine soil, which is what we have out there. Firm lightly and keep them evenly moist. Seedlings emerge in 7 to 14 days. Thin to stand 12 to 18 inches apart. When seedlings are 1 inch high, they bloom in the summer. Uh, I am in Northwest Ohio. I'm in the green. I'm in a hardiness zone of 5. So I'm right on track with this May and June planting time. And everything you've got over here, full sun, that means six hours or more. These are going to bloom in 70 to 75 days. Your height is just going to be 24 inches. That's only two rulers. That's it. One inch seed depth. You're thinning it 10, I'm sorry, 12 to 18 inches. And it already told us that over there. Here's our instructions for the containers. So, four plants per 24 inch container. May 23rd and our sunflowers are starting to come up and sunflowers are ideal for zones four through nine. Look at how fantastic all of the sunflowers are out here doing. We can thin them if we need to. When they reach about one inch tall, no pruning and no maintenance is needed with sunflowers. June 2nd, look at how fabulous these teddy bear sunflowers right in the middle of the screen are doing. I feel like I wanna thin this little clump out right here. So I'm going to take this smaller one, pull it straight out, and I'm going to take this one in the middle to give it a little bit more space, pulling it straight up and out. And we've got one on the side here, pulling it straight up and out. Look at all that space we now have. 13th of June, so rabbits are not supposed to like talc powder. So that's what I've got there, but look at how full these teddy bear sunflowers are. And look at that, they're so compact, they almost remind me of poinsettias in a way right here. Look at how compact these things are in the side view. See that compared to... <laughs> The regular ones. Ooh, look at how well these 
all of these sunflowers are doing out here. So the kind of soil that you need for sunflowers is a loose, well-worked, average soil. And this bed out here is coming along fantastic. It's like air, I hardly walk on it. All right, looking at these teddy bear sunflowers right in the front, can you see this one here? This one's starting to get some spread on the stalk or on the stem. Can you see that? Starting to get a little bit of height on her. You can see a smaller version here. Okay, so we had a lot of wind damage, but look, at these teddy bear. Since they're so low lying, they really suffered nothing. These ones really don't need support. The other ones behind it, well, they need a little bit of support. July 9th, look at teddy bear starting to bud for me. And another bud, excellent. So excited. 16th of July and can you see these teddy bears they now have three heads on them four heads five ooh, six seven multiple shoots eight nine they just keep going it's July 20th we're looking at teddy bear and can you see some of the yellow is wanting to pop out let's talk about watering for a minute though Sunflowers need one inch of water per week until their roots or their feet start to become established. And then they are more drought tolerant. Look at all of the heads on this one here. July 23rd and Teddy Bear is finally starting to merge. It's nice and velvety. Excellent. Looks like this one will not be too far behind it. Also this one over here. Excellent. 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 They consider sunflowers three feet and under to actually be dwarf. This is more than three feet right here. But the other ones are not. I mean, that was the lowest one over there. It is July 24th, and look at Teddy Bear. Very pleasing to touch. It's very tight in here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This one's gonna open soon. Let's look at a quick overview real quick. Looking at Teddy Bear the next day, kind of irritated that this is in the way of our view. She is gorgeous. And look what's also happening down here. She's very short, pretty much level with the top of our pumpkin leaves. This one will probably be happening soon. And look at this one wanting to awaken here. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Now, teddy bear, citrus. So far, the colors kind of look the same, but I don't have them side by side. It's July 26th, I'm looking at teddy bear. Um, I do find it kind of irritating that a lot of these leaves will form and block in front of these blooms. Especially when they're on multi-head like that. Yeah, I'm finding that to be just a little bit irritating. They are so pretty still. This is still nice and tight. All the petals are really, they feel so good. <laughs> And this feels velvety. It's like you get three different texture structures in there. July 27th. And look at Teddy Bear. We are starting to get a lot of color. A lot of these heads are starting to come up for us. 
excellent, excellent, excellent. One right here. Do these remind anybody else of artichokes? Look how cute that is. Does that remind you of an artichoke at all? This one looks very vibrantly, almost an orange yellow. Now I want to walk over uh, and let you see what the citrus look like. I think they're almost the same. Oh, wait a minute. This one's really filled out. Gorgeous. Multi-heads. We're going to have quite an abundance here soon. Sorry, I'm being quiet. It's like 6 a.m. It is Friday the 28th, and we have lots of teddy bear action going on back here. They are gorgeous, little petite, just miniature bursts of happiness. Color therapy, straight up color therapy. I love this color. It's like my favorite color of orange, right here, this darker one. I look horrible in orange, <laughs> but it does make me happy when I look at it. Oh my goodness. Got lots of bee activity here with the pumpkins. Let me um, step back so you can kind of see. Compared to seven to eight feet tall. By the way, that burpy um, seed packet tried to tell me that was only four or five feet tall. They got that one wrong for sure. Oh my God, I am so pleased with these. They are making me so, so happy. Next day, looking at these teddy bears. Oh my god, they are so lusciously cute. Bees have definitely found them as well. Let's look at this one just in comparison with my hand. See back here in comparison with my hand. Discovery. Groundhog has come out here and eaten half of these two sunflowers. And a lot of the leaves down at the bottom. I don't mind if they eat the leaves. Sunflowers are sunflowers. Groundhogs hydrate themselves through leaves, not by water, which irritates me, but I don't really mind if they take the leaves. I thought about coming out here and cutting these three to make a fresh arrangement, leaving these taller ones, hoping I could get some seeds on them. However, I can't really have a long cut here and keep the other multi-heads. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the house and I am going to get my black pepper and I'm gonna pepper all of this up back here so that they will stay off and out. I am very disappointed. The other thing I want to say is this one here, which is particularly tall. If I could get them to grow like that up front, let me show you what I'm talking oh, about. This is my front yard. This is one of my girls here, Fiona. And I absolutely love my front yard. I really do. I always change it up over here. Um, this is kind of in a process of rebuilding some soil. I've tried these Dollar Tree um, stackable containers. I've got some perennial herbs going on over here. Like I said, I always do something different. Last year I did um, a bean tower. This is sort of um, an afterthought. Uh, but I do have them 
blinked, and this is something new that I'm trying, are these brush stroke violas. And look at how different these these ones, these purple ones can look. They almost look like um, like snowflakes. Not every one is the same. They're absolutely gorgeous. But it left a lot of room in here. So I thought I might as well go ahead and do the same thing and grow these beans up here. <laughs> what are you doing, baby girl? And they are just beginning to give me a few beans here also on this side over here and I keep training. The point of me coming out here with the sunflower video is love my gorgeous little yard, the changes of the season. I did a whole video about how this changes, how maintenance free this is until you get right here. And this has been the sore spot for me really since we moved in because the way that the step is here, it's hard for me to get the riding lawnmower in here. What I'm thinking is, what if I bring those teddy bear sunflowers right over here? I can see pops of color when I'm inside because when I'm inside, I have a straight shot to see this and to see that wheelbarrow with those gorgeous impatience in there, even though it's in the shade. Uh, such a problem here with weeds because of that fact. I am trying to get some of those red lime queen zinnias to come up for me, but the weeds here are crazy. Well, the perfect solution for a couple of years might just be those teddy bears because I think they would be the perfect height right here. Then what I would like to do is once the, their feet and their roots have kind of helped me to till up that terrible soil here. I, could you not see pink hydrangeas under there? Will that not just set the rest of the shard off? Especially with this Japanese red maple and the pop of color that I would see out here in my finely patinaed wheelbarrow. And once I have my soil rebuilt, I can have splashes of color over there. This is constantly changing. I feel like this is a real point of um, creation here. But this needs to be tidied up. The soil needs to be worked. And sunflowers are a real great way to sort of have a low maintenance way of getting there. If you have the time, it will work the soil for you. August first, and look at Teddy Bear. Oh yeah, I am enjoying her. I did get over some of my frustration with the groundhogs. Ugh. It, it just totally changes my mood. So let's not talk about it, I guess. She is gorgeous though. Very, very gorgeous. Nothing has gone to seed yet. I keep waiting to check. These seeds here are from Velvet Queen above. This one might go to seed first. And look at how lopsided or askew this one is ballooning out to be. They're just very, very interesting. All right, you guys, we're in the house. We are going to look in 2023's Burpee catalog. And we're going to see what they have to say about teddy bear. Golden yellow, fully doubled, six-inch blooms. Well-suited for mid-border containers and bouquets. Sheer joy. Height is 24 to 36 inches. Spread, 14 to 16 inches. Container-friendly. Full sun. And you get 150 seeds for $6.95. So six inch blooms, I'm not really seeing that here. I'm seeing that they are much smaller than six inch. And I don't even think I seen one out there that was six inches in the garden. This is one of the smaller ones and that's probably more like three and a half from petal to petal if being generous, yeah. Maybe petal to petal, this one is almost five inches. All right. 
but you know these petals are going to curl back so it really looks smaller than what you would be anticipating I tried to see if these were an heirloom. When I looked it up online, they said that they were. However, with the other five packets that I bought, Burpee, on the Velvet Queen, they actually wrote heirloom up here. They did that with none of the other packs. So these were $2.79. I bought them at Menards. They were 40% off. There's my discount. So it ended up costing me just $1.67 to try these. Where... It would have costed me almost seven dollars for 150 seeds. Hike. Okay, 24 to 36 inch and container friendly. Well, you better have a very wide based container to put these in because they're gonna be very top heavy. And also you could see they created a lot of foliage in there. So be prepared for that as well. All right, let's look at how this arrangement turned out. I decided just to stay with these three so I can kind of have this one facing the sink. And of course the mirror is gonna give me a nice reflection back here. But this turned out very well, very clean. I love that you can see the stems. Uh, I love this vase. I have a whole vase collection. I think I picked this up at a rummage sale for maybe like a quarter. And you can see how it bubbles there at the bottom. I love it. This, this is perfect for this size, this variety. Where just these are in here, it's really the only pop of color that I have in here. It's usually gray, black and white glass i've got some crystals i david brom studded that up myself a little bit of pink in that marilyn monroe soap but boom there is my pop of color right here and they look pretty fantastic and since i kept them on the kitchen island the night before all of the ants have already dissipated out of them how gorgeous these are though and these are pretty perfect for a shorter arrangement especially if you have a really um sort of squatty short vase these would be perfect so it's august 7th we're looking here at teddy bear and we can see that she's kind of getting towards the end of her life my guests have left they did very much enjoy her in the fresh arrangements. Um, I like how this one is grouped together and is kind of oblong right next to another one. <laughs> so they kind of match in an oddball way. I think that's cute. Gonna love that picture. This one here. Guys, it's done nothing but rain. It's gonna rain some more. It's nice and quiet out here. These are very beautiful towards the end of their life. Velvet Queen, she's got multi heads here. So does so does um, Teddy Bear. So some things are still going on here, but you can see the process of her starting to die out. And I'm hoping the groundhogs will let me have some seeds. We can only hope, right? If you are interested in all the details on how to save your sunflower seeds, heirloom or hybrid. Well, that topic and so much more will be covered in the general five burpee sunflower video. Don't worry, I'll link that video for you. You guys, look at how cute these teddy bears are in this vase. And now we can see a lot of the different styles that it has. It has this pretty much like this pom-pom look, completely all cush. This one has some layers to it with some big, nice pointy flowers and a nice cushy center. Look at this one. Is that not cute? This one just looks like a, kind of just like a daisy to me. This is so cute. I'm really enjoying these little teddy bears. Thank you.
you so much for watching and I invite you again to subscribe as I have been gardening for over 40 years and have a lot to teach, show, grow, review, experiment with, and my favorite, a specific variety everything deep dive. So let's try new things together, mix it up, and have a glorious day.